Okay, so this is a cool little trick that I want to share with you guys. I didn't actually invent this trick. One of my sweet little 11 year old students invented this. His name is David and he's a really kind soul. And it was so sweet. He came in one day and he said, oh, I have a solution for you. I know how you can pick up um, your eraser crumbs if it doesn't work with the dusting brush. And I thought, okay, I've got to see this. He's probably come come up with something that's going to be really helpful. So let's look down at the page and I'll show you what he taught me. It's super cool. So here I've erased and I was using the Tough Stuff eraser stick and that one tends to be very rubbery so the eraser crumbs tend to stick to the page a little bit more I find than some of the other erasers. And I might be able to get all of these to come off of the page with the dusting brush which it looks like with about four or five uh, sweeps with the brush I was able to. But if you aren't able to, what you can do is go ahead and erase. You find yourself with all those crumbs. Maybe get one or two of them to go away. But then you can actually take this tip of your eraser and press them onto all of the little bits. And look at that, it's like a magnet. They just come right up. At a certain point, your eraser tip gets loaded and you will have to sort of you know, wipe them off and deposit them someplace else in the trash, wherever on your side of your table. But it's a really helpful tip that David came up with. And ever since, I think that was a few years ago, I've been using that and showing that to other students. So I hope that quick tip helps you out. Now you don't have to worry about trying to get those eraser crumbs off your page by blowing on them or shaking your page where you could potentially dent your page or wiping your hand across the page, or you don't have to scrub at it with your dusting brush. So it's a great little solution, and I love having students in the studio with me because they always comes up, come up with new solutions that I would never have imagined myself. So hope that one helps you out, and uh, let me know how it goes. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, LZM Studio, where I frequently release quick tips and all kinds of different ideas about drawing. Also check out my Facebook and my Instagram page. I like to show um, photographs of my artwork, of my students' artwork, and share funny stories from my students on those pages. And then check out my website, lzmstudio.com, where you're going to find more inspiration and um, full-length, detailed tutorials.